want to make some cool moving platforms for you today game you came to the right place today i want to show you shortly how to make uh, these kind of moving platforms um, to make your game look cool and we use the easy no programming way by using playmaker which is a great feature also used in making hollow knight and other awesome games so let's get right into the topic so i have this little scene set up here um, with a character and uh, she already actually has a player controller so um you just actually need the controller to make a loop move right and left and make a jump. This is all a little bit, a lot of things in here which you don't really need. So follow any other simple tutorial to make some basic controllers. You can also download some scripts for this. It's quite easy. Today I actually just want to make a platform moving from this location to this location and back. And I want the platform to wait a little bit. So not to make it continuously moving. But wait two seconds and then move on. So how are we actually going to do this? So first of all, let's find a platform. So I actually made this amazing platform. It's a little bit big, in my opinion. Um, but it's quite easy if we go into the sprite renderer. No, in the transform, sorry. We could just make it a little bit smaller here. There we go. And to keep it all needy, of course, I made a folder with, let's say, a player level, which has the platforms inside. And here I would also have a folder with moving platforms. And so let's create an empty, put it in the player level, and we call this moving platforms. So we have a platform folder, and we add a moving platform. So we add this sprite here. We actually want to make it one more deep. So let's say this is moving flat for one. And on this one, actually, this sprite comes. So this, this one is just this picture. Of course, within this picture, we need to add a box collider. Let's see a box collider 2D. And let's set this up. And there we go. Let's make this nice and neat. Not that the character falls off necessarily. Sometimes it's good to actually have one more pixel out there. Um, and otherwise the character might slide off uh, unwanted. We also want to set this layer to, let's say, uh, ground. This is also, again, um, in one of the other tutorials to make sure to set your ground on these kind of platforms that the character knows it's actually ground it's allowed to walk or it can walk or move so we want to have one box collider on which the character can walk and we're going to add one more box collider which is a trigger um, and i will explain you later why we also need a trigger so there we go so this is set up so currently this platform won't do much now, if we go on it it will just hang hopefully here and we can just walk on it and that's it so that was a basic platform now we're gonna get on the moving platform and we're gonna add a state finite machine finite state machine that's what they call this and what I actually want to do very easily, I want to make it move. And within Playmaker, once more slowly, there is an action browser which has many different features in regard to animation, also moving stuff. You can pretty much put everything here, so you really don't have to program much. But sometimes program is easier though. But no, let's just move, move the object. So. There we go. And to move the object, we actually need a destination. And the easiest is, of course, to just make an object for this. So we are in platform one. We add one more child. Make sure that this, this item is not a child of the, let's say, of this platform. But separate. That's why I actually made it 
move platform and here we can call it target one and target one should be maybe about here like this and let's duplicate it by hitting ctrl d and we just drag it over here and this we call target two so let's line it up if we click here we can see the playmaker again and we hit target one and here you can put some options as on how long do you want it to take to go from year to target one and then from target one to target two and in between so let's just say we do three seconds you can also use variables here uh, to set speed variables um, but the easiest way is just to, to put the time so we will just say it will take three seconds to move to target one and after it finished that we will put a finish event for that i need to add here a transition we just say finished here and now i can select finished so to go back i actually just want to copy this state so i copy paste it do i want to make this uh, start state no i just want to make it additional we can even call this move one and we call this move two and we need to connect after move one is finished i want to go to move two and move two the platform wants to go to target two there we go and after it finished that i want to go back to move one now this will make let's see what this actually does and then we will see it's moving it's coming back here it is Okay, and now I just miss, I missed it. Um, so it's moving now between the two platforms, but I actually also want to add a weight. So here, let's say we want to have a short wait after it moves here. I want to wait for one second so that actually the people have a chance to jump on. And here we can just go to the action browser and add a weight. We can also add a random weight, which is interesting. As you can say it has to wait one to two seconds. Let's just say one. And then we add a transition finished. And then we go to move two. We copy this to this side. And from move two, we go here. And then the circle is complete. So let's put it like this. Good. Now it will wait one second so we can jump on. So let's have a look. Here we go. So the platform is now waiting at the other side and here it comes back. We jump on it and we see that we fall off because the character does not interact with the platform. It's movement speed. We have to actually make the player a child of the platform. So we have to set the platform, the moving platform, as a parent of the player. So we have a player tag here, which is important. And so next to this moving playmaker state, we're going to add one more state. It's quite simple. And we're going to set parent and we're going to start with setting the parent of the game object Emily to a neutral let's say a neutral state let's add this create empty neutral and go back on the platform the neutral state as long as Emily is not on this platform she will be in a neutral state. But if we have a trigger event, trigger to the event, which is also why we had the box collider as a trigger event, and we're going to say as long as you stay in this trigger field, it's maybe hard to see here, then Emily should be part of this moving platform. So let's say use owner. If this owner collides with player then we're gonna send the event finished 
and we're going to copy this date and paste it. We're going to click no, because in this case, we're going to set parent for Emily not to neutral, but to this platform. And, oops, this is on trigger stay. Sorry, for some reason it was exit. In this case, it has to be exit. So in the moment Emily exits from this trigger area, I won't want her to. I don't want her to be a child of the move platform anymore. So I want her back back in a neutral state. So let's see if this actually works. Do we have to write tags player? Emily is the player tag. So let's see if this works. So you can already see that we are moved to the neutral state. And we can see the platform, which is waiting. You can also actually see it in the scene view. There it's coming back. We jump on it and we just saw Emily move from neutral to the moving platform. And that's way Emily will stay on the platform. If I get off, then Emily is back to neutral. That's great. So now you have a platform which moves and Emily is part of it. Of course, I can add, I can now, the reason why I put now the move platform and the target one below, let's say one parent folder is that I can just duplicate this with control D. And let's say we put one more platform here. And for this platform, I want, let's say the first target, I want the platform to go up. And maybe let's add this block and we say, we had a block here. This one goes until maybe here. And if we have a look now in our game, let's see if this works. Because it also copies all the Playmaker information to the other moving platform. So this one works, works well. Jump off, Emily's neutral, it's a second lift. Jump on top, Emily is part of this one now, and we jump to the next platform. Awesome! I hope this helped to give you a short overview on how to make moving platforms with a trigger function.